Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a dramatic couple in love that loves reacting to some Dragon Ball Z. We're so dramatic for Dragon Ball. Yeah. And so I thought we were done with the Dragon Ball Z movies, but I mean, like, this is like technically Dragon Ball Super, but they call it Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Battle of Gods. I always want to call it Battle of the Gods. I just want to put like the in front of like random things sometimes. And I usually put S's in, like when they don't when they don't belong and they pluralize things. I don't know. It's just a little, little quirk of mine that, that you should know. Wanted to confess. Wanted to confess it. And now we all know. I might refer to this as Battle of the Gods, like, you know, a bunch of times. <laughs> Anyways, if you want all of our reactions to Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z Kai and Dragon Ball Z Abridged, check out the description of this video. We got playlists there for you. And we have a link to Patreon. You can get early ad-free access. You can get our full watch-along reactions. Yeah. Lots of fun stuff. Lots of fun stuff. All right. Ready to do this? I am ready. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Getting fancy. I felt like I was inside the wave. We really gotta get out more. Yeah. <laughs> there was an encounter that seemed rather insignificant at first glance. Bomb on Goku. Long and extraordinary adventure for Goku and his friends. Yay! More often than not. Ha <laughs> Krillin. <laughs> Piccolo and the fierce rematch that Ooh. Oh wow. Damn. Frieza. And the defeat of the androids in the fearsome cell game. Hmm. Or so they thought. Hmm. <laughs> dun dun dun. Ooh, the elder Kai, Pervy Kai. You're sensing it too, Supreme Kai? Yes, he's certainly waking early this time, isn't he? This time? Yes, I'll tell them now. But now, like, right, right now. <sighs> Lord Beers, what are the... <laughs> Mumbling random words. <laughs> uh, do they taste like root beers? <laughs> oh, oh. <clears throat> sure. Uh, yep, Lord Beer tastes great in the float. Kind of like sassafras, but nuttier. <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh. it can't be something that simple. You wouldn't sound so nervous about it. Hmm. <laughs> He's not that dumb. Uh, mm, mm, um. Well, his poker face is about as good as mine. Yeah. Drop it, Goku. I'm not telling you. Fine. You were talking to Supreme Kai, right? I'll just go ask him myself. <laughs> <laughs> Promise you won't tell Supreme Kai that you heard this from me. <laughs> It's like this, Goku. Driving around the world. So he's bad. Fierce, I mean. He's one of those evil destroyer guys? It's not a matter of evil. Necessary. Is that so much to ask for? Um, why are you wearing your butt kicking? <laughs> oh. Oh no. I can't wait to see what he's made of. This is great. You're completely blank! <laughs> There's a theme song we know. Mm -hmm. Our little city in a tree. Mm-hmm. Oh. This dude likes to stroll. I guess strolling through destruction is like his weird kink. I'd hate to see you oversleep and for one of your backup alarms. <laughs> I'm always happy to show off my vocal range with a singing performance to roust you. Let's do it. Cozy. <laughs> oh. To count as truly restful slumber, I have to get at least 50 years. 39 is little more than a catnap. What if I refuse? That Beerus the Destroyer may be powerful, but boy, does he stink up a room. <laughs> we your pitiful attempts at humor make me want to go back to sleep. Hmm. I'm curious, Whis. While I enjoyed my all too brief slumber, did that upstart Freezer manage to eradicate planet Vegeta for? Oh. What? Is someone more powerful than Freezer? Who is impressed? Answers to both the names Kakarot and Goku. 
Including, I should mention, the king's heir, Prince Vegeta. <sighs> Is it? Damn right. ...of powering up whereby they transform into what they call a Super Saiyan. What was that? <laughs> That's it. That's exactly what it was. Sorry, what, what, what? It was dream. You'll recall that dream you had a while back about the pop star moving here didn't exactly pan out. A pop star mm. moving there? Oh. I was taking a walk. Oh. Did I say that? <laughs> yes, that's what you said. Oh. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> the seer's prophecy confirms my premonition. But he doesn't remember it. The fascinating adversary is due to emerge, and that's why I prematurely woke from my slumber. We're currently in 4032 Green on Planet 877. It's a little world called Earth. This is Whis have the power? Do the staff has the power? Tell me, Whis, how long would it take for us to get there? Roughly 26 minutes. So about the length of your average anime episode. <laughs> But I don't think that Whis could do it without the staff. I don't think the staff is useful in anyone else's, or at least not. That makes sense. That would make sense, is that? Bulma, we'd all like to wish you happy birthday! Yay! <laughs> what? Not coming! Vegeta? Looks like he's off training too. I've just about had it with you saying. Puppy. You, Mr. Waiko, are you working this party or not? Come fill me up. Oh my God. I think you're confused. He's not part of the weed staff. He's Bulma's father, Dr. Breeze. <laughs> hmm. I wasn't really aware of it myself. Forgive me your richness, I'm sorry. Your richness? What drink do you want? No, I couldn't ask a man of your status to serve a humble and not nearly as loaded world. <laughs> Oh, Dad, how embarrassing. I can't take him anywhere. No. Figured Bulma's party would be a classy affair. That's just my tank top, right? Between <laughs> you and me, just how old are you today? Is it a big birthday? Oh, Krillin. So, uh, I don't suppose any of those prizes are dirty. <laughs> Is he here? Bulma's party is today and I totally what? forgot! Yeah, he did. If only you could like instantly get there, somehow. I'm not sure who'd be scarier, that destroyer guy or Bulma when she's mad. <laughs> Bulma. We're in for some serious trouble and it's heading straight for us. What? Why's Bulma coming here? <laughs> you worry me. Oh, Goku, get inside the house now. Huh? He's here. But I don't understand. Why would Beerus come here of all places? Doesn't make sense. Why indeed? As in it, North Kai. <gasps> Wait, that's Beerus? He looks like a big hairless house cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He destroyed this world, shrinking it. Really, Whis? I did that? Of course. <sighs> There's a small matter I'd like to discuss with that Saiyan you're harboring. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> hey, it's me, <laughs> Goku. Can't wait to fight you. Uh, well, hello there. So I'm Go- Uh, sorry, I mean. It is an honor for you to meet me. If you say so. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, there's something I was hoping to- Awkward. Mm-hmm. Well, I know all about just plain old Super Saiyans, but this Super Saiyan God stuff isn't ringing any bells, dude. Uh, <laughs> Frieza? Uh, uh, yep, that was me, all right. I beat him, sir. Poking him? Poking his chest, trying to see how strong he is. Look at his muscles. Yes, it's quite the power up. You're very well informed. <laughs> and yet, you know nothing of the Super Saiyan God. And then... But Lord Beerus, I doubt they know any more about a Super Saiyan God than Go. Oh, but Jesus is gonna say it's him. You're not planning to destroy it or anything, are you? As long as nothing that happens there annoys me. Oh crap. Sorry, I mean, Lord Beerus, sir. I have heard that your lordship is incredibly strong. How about showing me just a teensy bit of your... Oh, God. <laughs> All my years have I been issued a challenge such as yours. You certainly seem... He accepts. 
Or could it simply be that you're just an arrogant fool? Yes, he is a fool! <laughs> Do you have my word? Well, let's begin. He's not worried, dude. Okay. Thank you for power, not Super Saiyan 3. And then next, I go on up to Super Saiyan 2. Also known as Super Duper Saiyan. Yep. And I scream for an hour. Hold on to your banana bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you safe, monkey. No, no, that won't be necessary. Oh, huh? Well, Goku's about to get his ass kicked. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Oh, just a flick. Oh, damn. <laughs> Come at me. Arms behind his back. Oh, crap. Who will hold through the world? This tiny, tiny world. Knock him out? Yeah. That wasn't even like a fight. That was just... No, not at all. Beerus screwing with Goku. Well, I mean, he can destroy a whole planet just yeah. with his finger, so... Poor planet, poor tennis ball planet. Now Earth's in danger too! I gotta contact Vegeta and get him up to speed on Beerus! He's busy. Well, he's back and stronger than ever, so do not engage him in any way. That means no insulting, no fighting, don't even look at him funny. So don't be Vegeta. Yeah. The fate of the Earth rests entirely in your hands, Vegeta. Don't screw this up. Vegeta the diplomat. <sighs> that is so cool to know. <laughs> I only know one way to get stronger. I'd have to perform fusion with Vegeta again. No. What do you think? Is that a level I could reach by more training? Or something different? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta be you, Goku. Sensu bean? Hmm? A sensu bean? Why not, dude? Sensu bean! Way ahead of you, pal. I already told Vegeta. Figured he was the most likely to do something stupid when Gary <laughs> shows up. <laughs> or should I keep training? Plan my next move? Well, don't go save the Earth now. I mean... Training plan your next move means you're leaving the mm -hmm. Earth in Vegeta's hands. Yep. The best part of being a Saiyan must be never having to worry about losing your looks. <laughs> oh. Even Chi Chi. Alas, this energy from which you all draw your strength has no effect upon deities like myself. Huh. <laughs> I always figured he'd go nuts eventually. <laughs> Just chilling by the pool. Obviously, wasn't a good enough spread if he told Frieza to blow up the planet. I'm Lord Beerus. Oh, that's right. Can't forget why I'm here. Vegeta, like groveling like this. I never get such things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Replace never with oh. <laughs> So this is who you'd rather talk to. I love how Whis gives him shit. Birthday. You gonna introduce oh, me at uh, least? Bulma, this is. And Bulma's drunk. <laughs> wow! Since when did you make friends with guys who have such good manners? <laughs> <laughs> Stick around and see how we Earthlings like to party. The more the merrier, I say. <laughs> Go for it, boys. Dig in. Come on, let's crank this mother up a notch. <laughs> yes. Hey, look, guys, we need to have a Bulma's gonna show him a good time. <laughs> yes, karaoke with Mr. Oh, Piccolo! That's amazing. <laughs> and a dance off. Come on, Dad, will you please stop embarrassing me? Sorry for it. Give me a hamburger. 
<laughs> the hell? Oh. You idiots! When you're trying to burgle a place, you gotta be quiet! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's a garlic. <laughs> I love the corgi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your costume. Mm -hmm. I know the last try didn't turn out like we wanted, but I'm feeling really lucky this. <laughs> it's so unfair that we can't even land part-time work because we're all stuck in these fat little baby bot. <laughs> Are you? I'm not. I am an emperor. Emperor. You did tell him, Shenron, please make us young again. I stand by that. I understand, but this is still way too young. Well, it was good news for me. When you're aging in dog years, you know that you can... I don't care what you two idiots think. Just go help me find the Dragon Balls. And if you can't find them, grab anything that looks valuable. Sir, go! Prizes. Prizes. So I guess he can't read. Emperor Pilaf! What? Over here. What is it? <laughs> Tournament prizes. Bingo tournament prizes. There's no way! Holidays are bingo prizes? They're giving away a castle! Ah, oh, damn it! I'm so jealous of these rich guys! Just tag the place? Yes! Stupid. Oh my god. Poopy. It's the biggest diamond on this planet! Put this ahead of the hand, shall? If this is the prize for second place, then... The prize for first must be... <laughs> the Dragon Balls. Wow. You dumbbell! If we summon a huge dragon while we're still indoors, he'll collapse the whole building on top of us! <laughs> oh, now you're trouble. We're, uh, we're, uh, we're uh, old friends of the boy who lives here! What? You're not my friend. <laughs> Hold on, wait, you're the boy who lives here? <laughs> Is that monkey talking? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're here to rip the joint off, remember? You shouldn't be telling this little brat your real name. <laughs> hey, Goten, come get a load of this blue talking monkey I found hiding in the... <laughs> what is it? <laughs> See? <gasps> That distinct spiky hairdo. It looks very familiar. <laughs> the giant ape monster kid. <laughs> He's in love. Oh my god. Wow, even by our standards, that was pretty strange. <laughs> Friends with her? Oh, her? She's actually my main squeeze. <laughs> we hold hands when her dad's not looking. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect line delivery. Amazing. This sucks. What the hell is he doing here? Yeah, and it's weird that he's still a little kid. Oh, What's so funny? Prepare to be dazzled by stars. Oh. <laughs> Time. Yes. But oh, wait a second. Hmm? We can't wish for money with just one. Nope. It's one million zenny cash. Oh, yeah, that's great. My, you're a genuine evil genius. A real deal, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that diamond was worth more than a million zenny. Couldn't we have just take it and left? <laughs> <laughs> Not. Don't be <laughs> stupid! Nobody wants to be that rich! It's way too stressful! <laughs> okay, but a million zennies, okay. Stop all the time, and I'm not washing your pee pee pants! Uh, okay, that just went to a weird place. <laughs> Meant to have a little class. Uh, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> this whole thing's a weird place. <laughs> Girlfriend. Don't get the romantic gene from dad, but there's no denying my little boys become quite the hunk. <laughs> Why would you fly through the air to move 25 feet? Because whatever, it's no biggie anyway. <laughs> my buddy and told him you were my girlfriend, so now my mom wants to meet you. <laughs> you said I'm your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm flattered, but I don't date little boys like you, kid. Hey, hold on, you're no bigger than I am. Hold hands? Hold hands? What? The kids nowadays have all become... 
I know he's just a child, but holding hands with a guy on the same day I met him, it's all moving a little too fast for me. <laughs> Out over a boy like that. Oh, gee, thanks, Emperor. Now you're saying I'm an old maid? <laughs> and the Dragon Balls that the winner receives. Uh, uh, yeah. Completely forgot about it. <laughs> Guys, I'm starting to get worried about this. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. Now hold his hand. I think Maya is such a pretty name. And how old are you, honey? 41 in March. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't break any more planets. There you go. Up in his training game. I hate you, Goku. <laughs> I think he may be the strongest opponent I've ever faced. Oh, he definitely is. I haven't sensed even a pinch of Super Saiyan God energy since we've been on this uncouth planet. Now, for the highlight of my birthday festivities, it's Vega. Might as well call him Mud Bloods. Hmm. Grand prize of a complete set of all seven Dragon Ball. But they're not, it's not complete. Gathering the orbs together summons a dragon who then grants the orb's owner any wish he so desires. You at least gotta give me your digits to call. Uh, I don't know any phones or use email. We I use email. Guys, help me. I fell right into the trap. <laughs> I never wanted it to come to this. <laughs> Holy crap! Whoa! What? To smash this kid into applesauce, you'll pay us one million city! Yeah, everyone can take you here. A hundred thousand would also work. A <laughs> hundred thousand would also work. Forget the bingo tournament. This is way more entertaining. I want to <laughs> play your hostage game too, you guys. <laughs> ah, yes. Those who would commit evil, beware. The all powerful. <laughs> pong, pong. I'm not going to shoot you. Back off, man. No, seriously, shoot me. Let's kick things up a notch, yeah? Make it more dramatic. <laughs> Don't just fire once. Panic and empty the whole clip into me, okay? Mm-hmm. Sound like a plan? <laughs> Don't aim for my hands or feet either. Let's just keep it simple. Only aim at my upper body and face. <laughs> <It's fun>. <laughs> <laughs> If it hadn't been me up there, you would have shot someone. Uh, I'm shot! Uh, what? Oh my god. Oh shit. I thought he was just gonna like catch him, not like deflect him. Yeah. Oh, Master Roshi, can you heal her? I can give her mouth to mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, well neither of you. Slapping a respected elder, shame on you. Don't worry, I can heal her, no problem. Dandy! Speaking to the guardian of the earth. Guardian of the earth? All right, yeah. Guess I kind of blocked that out. Good job, Mr. Piccolo. Thanks, Dende. Um, I I can sense that you're pregnant. Shh, I haven't told him yet. Oh, I understand. Oh, nice. Thank you, Dende. I mean, guardian. I owe you big time. This is a dream, right? <laughs> a nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, of course I can. You knew that when you came up with this routine, didn't you? <laughs> you should have sworn that thing. It didn't look real. Thanks for the tip, coach. You too, chimp. Where was all the intense- Chimp. What did you think, Lord Pierce? Entertaining performance, wasn't it? One of those projectiles hit me too. <gasps> no. Of course, before any creation must come destruction. All right, everyone, listen up! Bingo! What the hell? Bingo! Okay, he's been drinking more than go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, play oh, let's be friends. Oh. What the hell? It's time to play some bingo! Ole! <laughs> that was certainly some. <laughs> Good Vegeta for such a poor song and dance man. <laughs> Though he'd give you a run for your money. Now you're just being hurtful. Another <laughs> <laughs> orbit around planet buffet table. Very well. I love we. <laughs> oh, you're just being hurtful. Hey, I found the Dragon Ball. The kids had it. Let's get our bingo on. <laughs> I love him just there with his hand shaking. <sighs> 
Can't believe Vegeta's doing it. Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> Well, this creamy confection they call pudding. It looks like sludge, but it tastes like Otherworld. Are you eating pudding with a fork? Hmm. Chocolate fountain. Perhaps you got excited and ate them all yourself? No, no, Lord, of course not. Uh, oh. Of course. Put out all we had. That pink gentleman over there has them. He took the whole tray. Oh, no. Uh-oh, boo. Kindly hand over one of those pudding cups to Lord Beerus. One for me too, please. Vegeta, where are you? I understand if you can't spare two, so I'll just take mine. Beerus, that's... <laughs> pudding is all for Boo! You're being a rude guest! All pudding cups are Boo's! <laughs> <laughs> I want the pudding! No, mine! Give me one, you dumb blob! <gasps> You into tears, you need you! Cover, I can't sit down for once! <laughs> You've made me mad! Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit is right. Lord Beerus, no! Please stop! Come on, boys! Let's run! No! Ooh. <laughs> oh. I'll hold him off. Get the others to safety. Yeah. Sounds like don't tell me twice. Oof. Damn, no point in holding back now. Yeah, Vegeta. I mean, Here you go. He lasted pretty well for a couple seconds. No. Yep. <laughs> Time for go, tanks. Better go, Super Saiyan. There you go. <laughs> Great. Goten's transformed into that delinquent again. <laughs> for me, it's a taste always just beyond grasp, at least for the last five minutes. <laughs> Oh, even the name is resplendent and flowing deliciousness! I thought you'd never sh- Drama King. You have no chance of defeating Lord Beerus. Oh. Just take the funny! <laughs> Not the ending I wanted. I don't get a pudding cup. Your selfish pudding cup fight has ruined my 38th birthday party! Oh, so that's how old she is. Oh! <laughs> <gasps> oh! Uh-oh. Dare you! That's my power! Yeah, Vegeta! You no. <gasps> okay! Whoa! Oh wow, it's most licks anyone's got in on him. Cheetah, where have you been hiding this power? Made him even stronger than Goku. Okay then. Really loves her. <laughs> you jeets. Is he okay? Nothing. One sea urchin? Mm. Oh, it's even better than the tuna. <laughs> Foodgasms. I've already made up my mind, Vegeta. <laughs> oh. But I shall destroy this planet before I return home! As you wish, Lord. But first, I'm going to finish eating, okay? Put <laughs> the rest for me. <laughs> Earth is saved by sushi. Mm-hmm. That's... Amazing. I like your planet. Or rather, I've enjoyed myself enough to not despise it entirely. Okay. I nominate you. <laughs> the pig? Oolong? Porky. <laughs> who, me? That's right. The one who looks so del- <gasps> Oh no. He wants my bacon. <laughs> Come a little closer, won't you? <gasps> I'll turn your earth to dust. He's kidding, right? Yes, it's a universal game. Oh. <laughs> How did 
chance to be important before, but don't lose, because if you die, it'll be on your back. You've got fingers. You can throw all the signs. <laughs> He's going to throw rock for sure, Oolong. I know it. Don't listen to Yamcha. <laughs> exactly. Are you ready, pig? You bet. Our fates did not in the hands of Oolong. see it going this way. Three. And Yamcha. Yeah. Best out of three. Best out of three. You fools. Don't you see my ears? I heard you. Exactly. You always do best out of three, though. No one does rock, paper, scissors and just goes on the first throw. No one does that. I will play rock, paper, scissors against you. Goku! <laughs> but I do know I can't let you blow up the earth. Destruction is in my very name. Hmm. Believe me, I'm aware. But I'm sure I'd get killed. No matter what power level I'm at, it won't be a fair fight. For summoning this Super Saiyan God guy you want to meet. I think I know how to do it now. Dragon Balls? Can you give me like five minutes? Just a little time. That's all I need. Hmm. Please? Bring me pudding. Yes, thanks. They can't bring him out, and I use him. Tantrum because he missed out on a pudding cup. <clears throat> His name's Lord Beerus. He's the strongest being in the universe. His name alone's enough to scare the crap out of King Kai and Supreme Kai. Hi, Lord Beerus. <laughs> that won't work. No guy wants an old broad flirting with him. Shut up. Oh. By your name, I summon you forth. Did we have like? Sushi boxes to go. Let's go, yeah. You got some like bento boxes and stuff. Is this which gonna be to turn him into the Super Saiyan God? You ever heard of a thing called the Super Saiyan God? Huh? A Saiyan God? Huh? I'd like to hear his answer. Seriously? You really know about it? Yes, I'm serious. That's two questions. <laughs> I cannot, for one does not yet exist. Ooh. Can you go over that one more time? So many questions, yet no wish. Nope. Yes, but I'm in a rush, so tell them how to summon the Saiyan God. Oh, right. Even Shenron? Yeah. Pulled their powers to create a savior, a Super Saiyan God. In time, evil again took root on planet Vegeta, and the memory of the Super Saiyan God became myth. Five Saiyans with righteous hearts must join hands and instill their inner light into another. Mm. Please excuse me. Chunks, Vegeta, Goten. So first uh, we need to find five mm -hmm. Saiyans possessing righteous hearts. Goku, that's five. <laughs> Any boy that young who already has a serious girlfriend does not have a righteous heart. Oh! And are you suggesting that Goku's impure too? Oh, well, Goku is pure of spirit, but not of logic. <laughs> what? Take that back, Jesus! Hey, what'd you call <laughs> the Super Saiyan God? What are they gonna project it to, though? Into? Talking about perfection, we're talking about goodness of heart, and all five mm -hmm. of you have risked your lives. Exactly. You all righteous, as I see it. Oh, even angry guys. Like you could judge. <laughs> a long time ago, but he's been fighting on our side for years now. We'd be lost without him. He's good in my book. Good job, little green. Been evil in a long time. He's like a model citizen. Yeah, yeah. I won't tolerate Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but who are they gonna put it all into? This can't be one of them, right? They put it into somebody else. Vegeta. But what I'm saying is like, can, can it be one of these five that has like can get the power, or they have to put all their power into somebody else? So, there, all done. So this is the temporal you talked about. <laughs> Whoa. Yep. Ah, I think it's working. Piccolo still seems unimpressed. Head of those party crashers. Don't bother with it, Goku. 
It didn't work. Mm. I think the cat man is right. It's true. I still don't feel strong enough to beat him. Mm. Shenron specifically said that the inner light of five Saiyans with righteous hearts must be instilled into another. Thank you. I don't even know in what part of the galaxy. You mean you didn't think to get his address or phone number? All right, that's an... Did you send out Christmas cards? I feel Bulma's pain in this moment. Of course. <laughs> Hold on, Lord Beerus. There is one more Saiyan here. <gasps> Yasha? Her kid. Oh, honey, you can stop beating around the bush. Believe me, I'd love to stop Beerus, but I'm full... <laughs> Going in her is Gohan and Videl's quarter Saiyan child. <laughs> oh. Yay. Here, I wanted to surprise you with it, but now's as good a time as any. I'm a daddy. Oh. <laughs> so Beerus has got to wait, you know, just a little while. <laughs> Will you be transforming into a god or not? <laughs> we gotta at least give it a shot when the Earth's at stake. Okay. All right. Yeah, with you, they missed a golden opportunity to tell Varys to wait just nine months. Yeah. Like, you gotta buy yourself time, guys. I don't think he's gonna wait. He's a very impatient man. God. That's true. Cat. You feel it. I mean, if anything's pure. Mm hmm. Baby's pure. It was righteous. Oh. Question. Can a baby be righteous? <laughs> oh. Right? Bit was baby done. Baby has done nothing. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Magenta. New hair color. It's turned completely red. I think he dropped a few pounds too. It's weird. Have been quite successful. Yes, it's my reward for being so patient. <laughs> Actually transformed into a Super Saiyan God? His arms are skinnier. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, yeah. All right, everyone, things are about to get a bit dangerous. You should probably give them some space. A lot of space, yeah. Get ready to fight it out. Hmm. Yeah. Damn. Goku looks freaking amazing. <laughs> he looks somewhat pleased. I don't know about impressed. He's like, okay, this might be a worthy challenge. Come on, Goku. What's the matter? You seem disappointed. Honestly, yeah. Why? Don't you like yeah. yeah. But not enough to, you know, not kick your ass. Pushing myself to be the strongest, and now I learn there's a power level I'll never reach on my own. And I hate that. <laughs> your best. Well, you seem to be addicted to battle. Mm -hmm. I get that a lot. <laughs> and it's true, he is. Oh. Oh, sweet. Oh, well, that's impressive. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I was wondering how they plan to get there. I'm like, well, everyone else can fly. What, what, what are you going to do? No. Yeah. Oh, watch out, dinosaur. Sorry for the interruption. I simply must know the name of this delicious confection. Huh? Okay. Ice cream. That's a bowl of ice cream. Ice cream. How marvelous. I've never had anything like it. It's it seems amazing. ridiculous to make food this cold, but it totally works. <laughs> well, excuse me. Seems this cream isn't the only thing on this planet that's cold. Oh, nice. So, was that an amusing joke? I've been working on my comedy skill. <laughs> I love this guy. I want him and Zarbon to have their own show. I love Mr. Satan's expression in the background, like just his <laughs> look of bewilderment. Bastard! He always hogs all the fun and the glory for himself every time! <laughs> uh, 
Nice. Ooh. That's a sign of pride. It will be your downfall. Yeah, he's heard that before too. Holy crap. Foolish, useless pride. Cool. Really? Do you say it's rare to see a sink in some other That's pretty sad. I guess the rest of the Saiyans were the humble ones. Yeah. About Saiyans. Vegeta's always been obsessed with his Exactly. Prince made a pitiful fool of himself on stage to protect his friend. He did. That's right. I respect him a lot for that. Hmm. The way it's progressing, it's almost like Beerus is training him. Hmm. Full power in this fight. Oh, hmm. that makes sense. I've been going at about 80% myself. <laughs> How's that? Taking me seriously now? You're about to find out. Uh oh. Oh no. Goku, you're not magenta anymore. Mm hmm. Oh, sweet. Huh? Come off guard. Well, look. Goku, this is all you. I will not let you destroy my world! Yes. Mere Super Saiyan. What? <gasps> he's still taking on Beerus. Beerus does not look like he's holding back. So fast, you still following this, Krillin? Nope, totally lost. <laughs> Yeah! It's my turn. Oh shit. Yeah, that looks like trouble. This is a blast. Basically threw a sun at you. Sun, it's a blast attack from Beerus. This is not good. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> yep. It ran out some time ago. Seriously? Four. I didn't think it was possible. You're a true prodigy, like few I've ever seen. Hmm. It's gonna do major damage and I can't stop it! You're too strong! You just think you can. Oh, he's giving a little boost, okay. Well, this is how Dragon Ball ends. Bulma's 38th birthday. Can't like, you know, Vegeta and everybody else. I was gonna say, does anybody want to help him? Yeah, maybe help push a little bit. What in the world's happening up there? The end of the world? Yeah, just Mr. Satan holding up his son. Is he gonna hold this for like 20 minutes? They're on his own. Yeah. It's fucking Goku. I destroyed your ball. How'd you do that? What was that power? <laughs> I love. Finally realizing the full terror of Beerus the Destroyer. <laughs> and of all my countless fights, you're my second strongest foe. Oh wow. Who's first? I told you I would, and a destroyer god must keep his credibility. Oh, really? <laughs> you see my attendant Whis over there enjoying his lovely parfait. He was the first? Waits on me hand and foot. He's also my teacher. Your teacher? What? <laughs> <laughs> he just broke Goku's brain. Yep. Yeah. Okay, just give Whis ice cream. He'll be his best friend. Yeah. Goku! I'm all right. But the planet's not. Whis won't let him. He destroyed some Earth. Guess I'll just have to come back another time and finish destroying the... Okay. 
You know, one day we could make you Goku the Destroyer when Lord Beerus kicks the butt. <laughs> Our festivities. Uh, never mind that. You should be apologizing for hitting me. <laughs> I want to hear you complaining. If I'm displeased, I won't say a word. I'll just destroy your world. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Not the ending I expected. He found a worthy adversary. Mm -hmm. On people, he continues to make allies across the universe. Yeah. Planet, all of Earth, that's responsible. Young Goku was meant to be a savage warrior that was sent to that. Humankind aside, it is a wondrous planet. Humankind aside, radiate an irresistible charm. Except for all the pesky humans on there. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I'm already forgetting. What was his name again? <laughs> Gita, I may soon have my arch rival after all. Was that the Loch Ness Monster? After living this long, anything new becomes priceless. And I don't sleep, so the need to cure the boredom is even worse for me. Oh, wow. Speaking of sleep, I'm feeling absolutely exhausted. They call it sushi, and I think you'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try some, or are you too tired? Hmm. <laughs> Oh my, ah, it does look delicious. It does, look good. Mm -hmm. I'm told you apply a few drops of this liquid they call soy sauce, then eat one piece at a time. And what is this pale green? <laughs> no. Should have been watching me fight. <laughs> Why don't I go get us a drink? Don't do it, don't do it. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> He never got to eat any of the actual sushi. Mm -hmm. I would say it tastes good. I think he likes it. Dude, like chew though. <sighs> okay, they can live. Wake me in three years. <laughs> Enjoy three years apiece. Teeth. All right, all right. You really can be a pet. Hmm. Hey, happy birthday, boy! 38 is crazy old! Shut up! <laughs> 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 back. Oh. I mean, but she is like 31. She was 31 last year. Think of a hangover. <laughs> Oh, speaking of power-ups, when Bulma got hit, you sure went crazy, huh? My Bulma! <laughs> Great impression. Get him to slap Bulma and then we'll be all good, right? <laughs> That's really... Nice! Oh. You were watching the fight, weren't you? Uh, maybe? <laughs> Anything? But is that the point? Bulma, I believe Kakarot deserves some more of your signature sl Signature slaps. <laughs> Palma's signature slaps. Oh, whoa. Going through the manga with the whole series. Ooh, that's intense. Mm hmm. The androids. <laughs> Makes me think of, uh, Vegeta got mad at Trunks for telling him that they weren't like this. Like, those aren't the androids. Like, there's multiple, more than two androids. Yo. <laughs> hey, Chala. I know, it's okay. All right, so, uh, I was really impressed with that ending because it was not what I expected. I mean, you expect like this big fight and for Goku to, to win in the end and defeat the bad guy and for the bad guy to be like, I mean, you think of destruction, God of destruction, like you do think of like pure evil and kind of uh, along the lines of Galactus, who we compared him to and after episode two, it's the same thing. Like Galactus is just like sort of like necessary. He's not good or evil. And I think kind of seems like with Beerus too. I mean, 
he spared he spared Earth. That's crazy. I just love how with both Barris and we, it all revolves around food. Yeah. I mean, we saw that in like the first episode introduction mm -hmm. of, of Barris. And then like in this one, we is all like the sushi and the ice cream and parfait. And I mean, it's all it's all about that for him. And um, I mean, I, I guess when when we see gods depicted, they are often indulgent and, and food is yeah. one of those forms. But it definitely was never what I expected going into this mm -hmm. for those characters. Um, and with the first one setting up Barris that way, I did not, I did not then expect to see that in Weiss in this one. Like Weiss just seemed more of like the, mm -hmm. I don't know, the one with the more self-control, less giving into the urges of indulgence for food and whatnot. And um, often, or also seemed like he was subservient to Barris, and now mm -hmm. we actually find out he's the teacher. So I don't know, I just I like how they did that. Yeah, but like even when he was like, uh, even though he was like serving uh, Barris or, or or whatever, like I said, like it never felt like Barris like looked down on him. So I guess like yeah. you know because of that whole teacher teacher role, like it did seem like they were kind of like friends. Um, and once again, uh, we mocked him for like his uh, prophecies and like how they never come true. Uh, so and I just like I we said she said some great lines. It's like now you're just being cruel. <laughs> I love when he was like, I've been working on my humor. How yes, was that? Yes. <laughs> like, that was great too. Oh, so perfect. And the battle between uh Goku and Beerus was very impressive. Um and they talked about it in, in this at the end there. I mean, Vegeta going going crazy and uh you know, just seeing Bulma get hurt, get hit, and Vegeta snapped. Like nobody at that point had landed a, a single punch on uh, mm -hmm. Beerus, even Goku in Super Saiyan three form. And yeah, and Vegeta didn't have nearly that that power, but he had he had a very strong motivation. Mm -hmm. um, I found it really interesting that uh, Goku, even as he lost his god form, like his body had learned. And so mm -hmm. kind of evolved a little bit further, even in just Super Saiyan form. Um, and when we saw this Super Saiyan God form that he took on, it made me think way, 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 way back to the start of our journey when we looked at some like fighting game images for Dragon Ball, but we yeah. didn't know the characters had True. no context whatsoever. And I remember commenting on how their hair changed colors and wondering like- Yeah, at that, yeah, that, yeah, at that point we didn't know anything about it. We didn't know it, anything so. and wonder what that meant. And so now seeing this, we're like, oh, we're like, I know this was really cool. We had a new color and now we know what it means. Yeah. Um, I think the other color that we've yet to discover is turquoise. I remember yeah. there was turquoise in there. So I'm, I'm waiting still on the Dragon Ball journey to find out what that is. But um, and no spoilers, please, on that, because that's <laughs> it's fun to to find out in this. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was it was cool to see a whole new look for Goku to understand <coughs> what it means. And <coughs> bless you. Thank you. And for like his really cool fire effect. Yeah. I mean, that with the animation was just that was fantastic. So because we didn't see the original Dragon Ball, I imagine those three little kids are what from uh, the first, the OG Dragon Ball. And like, I mean, like Bulma was younger then and Goku was mm, just a kid and he yeah. turned into a, a, like a giant monkey, which I don't think he can do anymore because his tail got uh, removed. Um, so yeah, so we didn't really get, I imagine like, Revisiting those characters after so long was uh, a blast for people that had been following Dragon Ball for um, since the beginning. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, and I like how they did the nod to the comics at the end as well and, and yeah. to tie in that art and, and a nod to the fans who found it that way. Yeah, for sure. Gohan and Videl are going to have a kid? Yeah, I mean, we saw the kid, though, in, in uh, whatchamacallit. Although, unless they, although I heard those weren't, canon the last couple episodes of dragon ball z kai oh really um that's what this people said in comments but i don't know if it's true or not i mean well in the canon and the non-canon they eventually have a kid so yeah but like i don't know this was just kind of fun because it was it wasn't just oop we're plopping a kid in the storyline for yeah, them but true. it was like oh this is that moment where like they have that news and i love that dende it's like wait i'm i am yeah, sensing yeah. something here like shh 
He doesn't know. I, I don't know. It just, there was like a, there was an intimacy to us being in the know in this mm-hmm. story um, and, and the way that they crafted it in this film that, I don't know, it just, warm fuzzies. Yeah, warm fuzzies uh, indeed. Um, it had humor, it had good, good fighting, and then, like you said, uh, had, had some warm fuzzy uh, moments in there as well. Uh, so yeah, overall, great movie. Um, looking forward to continuing on with Dragon Ball Super, uh, the episodes. We're going to do like 15, I think through 19. Check out that and then go on to the next movie. I think is Resurrection F, I believe. Um, I have to admit, I, I am so glad that... Hi, Bucky. Mm. I am so glad that our community told us to watch the uncut version because having seen that, I'm like, I really don't know what they could have cut. Yeah. I'm... I mean, part of me is kind of curious to see the theatrical, just to see what what they did choose. But the other part was like, no, because it's just not going to be as good. <laughs> and why would I want to see a subpar version of this when this was so good? Yeah. Um, sometimes the uncut version can be like too long. And like, I mean, I, I remember yeah. uh, seeing some uncut versions for other things. I'm like, this feels like 15 minutes too long. And now I know where they went with the theatrical version. Yeah. Uh, but no, this was, yeah, this was really great. Um, Krillin in... Dragon Ball Z Abridged, which is how we got into this, was a very prominent figure and yeah. and huge for humor in, in there. I mean, like the Krillin owned count was mm-hmm. fantastic. But what I loved in this is that while he wasn't hugely prominent in terms of being featured, the moments when he was, it brought in that humor and it was right on point. Yeah, it was nice uh, seeing that from, from Krillin. And uh, and I loved, uh, you know, Drunk Balma. Yeah. Um, and she she was she was fun. It's just getting beers to to go have a good time and like yeah, just like silly things. Like I mean, they're partying with like the god god of destruction um, and doing car- Pixar Piccolo's doing karaoke, and then Mr. Satan got drunk and passed out. And Vegeta did an interpretive song and dance. Yeah. About bingo. That was crazy. I mean, and Vegeta did swallow his pride. I mean, that was crazy seeing Vegeta do that and yeah. just um, yes, yeah, so worried over. I mean, with good reason but it's just not something we're used to seeing from vegeta or shenron yeah or shenron yeah that's true too i mean jesus something made shenron afraid yeah i don't even think boo did that no not even majin boo did not do that either uh, yeah um so yeah that was it was it was fun to see our characters acting out of their typical mm-hmm. um and then of course with bulma <laughs> she's kind of the queen of giving zero fucks I mean, going up and and smacking him, um, yeah. giving him a piece of of her mind in in the most dangerous moments, right to the end of it, where he's talking about coming back, and she's right back to being Bulma. It's like, yeah, but only if you behave. Mm-hmm. Like, boom, laying down the law. She's she and Vegeta are great together, um, because there's. Like Vegeta can't admit his feelings for her, and like mm. when it's recognized, he always gets so salty, and yet she never takes that personally, and she can always kind of like she knows what's underneath there. Yeah, exactly. And they just have this this funny, complicated, yet somehow also totally complementary relationship. I also like how it was gonna the fate of the world was gonna be decided by rock paper scissors. Like rock paper scissors is just. Always comes up, and it's a that was another great Krillin moment. Oh, I guess it's a universal game. Yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> um, but they call it paper, rock, scissors. It's definitely rock first. That's right, it's rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, um, and you do a best out of three. And you do a best you out of three. Never go with the first one. And I'm glad they did that. Where like uh, Yamcha was telling uh, Oolong the the plan, and she's like, "Oh, you know, this is why I think you, you know so you definitely want to do paper." I'm thinking, well, he can. You know, hear you? Yeah, do you not think that he can? He's gonna be able to hear you, uh, but like, I didn't mention it because you just think, okay, well, this is you know, just I don't know, television show logic, whatever, anime logic. Like, like I mean, like you know, like you're just like, okay, well, this is just what happens. Like you know, um, you don't think that the characters are as close as they actually are, and so they, you know, they're whispering a little bit more, and so we only get to, we're only hearing it because like you know the camera's like on them right now. But if we were in Beerus' spot, we wouldn't actually hear them. Um, so I'm glad they called it alive. I was like, look, you see my ears, dude? Of course I heard you. <laughs> yeah. It, it is fun, though, because, I mean, obviously when you're watching shows like this, you are suspending your disbelief. So it's funny yeah. when the creators can be like, oh, we're going to take this beyond what's reasonable. And yeah. then we're going to make you feel a little bit silly. But in like a fun way, not in a not in a put you down kind of way. And that's they did it perfectly with this. 
Also, a great moment was when uh, Beerus kept telling, telling Goku about his pride and how his pride was going to be the downfall of him. And then when Goku all of a sudden said he wasn't at his full playing uh, to his full strength either, uh, Beerus's pride took a little bit of a hit. He's like, "Oh, yeah. but no!" He's like, "Now are you gonna, you know, show me your full power? Are you happy with this speed?" Um, he still was only going seventy percent, but I did like that, like that element of both Whis and Beerus, where it was. And they discussed it at the end, but that thing of like, they are these all powerful godlike creatures and their life is easy and they have to go out looking for a challenge and looking for, mm. because like they suffer from endless boredom. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like what we said, even at the end, he's like, anything different at this point is, mm -hmm. I can't remember the word he used, like exotic. It's like anything anything out of the ordinary. And I thought that is such a wonderful reminder that like, yeah, we as humans, we we struggle, we screw up, we have to deal with stress and all of that. But like that also makes our lives in so many ways more exciting because we get to appreciate the good moments and like our lives aren't mm -hmm. just steady Eddie. They're, they're all over the place, but that's what keeps it interesting. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want uh, all of our Dragon Ball Super reactions, check out the description of this video for a playlist and also a link to Patreon. You can get early ad free access to our reactions and see our full watch along reactions as well. Yeah. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. Not the gods. Just keep in mind. <laughs> that our reaction is definitely not definitive. Oh, what? We gotta watch five more movies. <laughs> <laughs>